Hi, welcome. Welcome in the first video. In this video, I'm going to talk about assignment of all rights in computer software. So let's say you create a software and you want to assign all those rights to a company or someone else. How should you do it? And those kind of stuff. We are not going to discuss everything here, but what we're going to discuss is the following. We're going to discuss some situation where you can imagine when you should use this type of agreement. So let's go to the drawing board. As you can see, this is the drawing board. And the thing is, what you need to keep in mind is the following. When you have created a software, so let's say this is your software. It's a really good software. It can be anything. And let's say we have A. A wants to buy your software. So A be like, okay, I want to buy your software. And you are B. So you are B. You want to sell it to A. What do you need? You need a contract. So you need a contract. And in a contract, you need to put a lot of things in it. Agreement, how are you going to deliver it? What are you going to deliver it? When are you going to deliver it? How much money do you want to get for it? And is there a maintenance or whatever? So A can be a company, but it can also be a person. So when you sell it to someone, that's something you need to keep in mind. But when you create a software, most of the time you have your own intellectual property in it, but you are, sometimes you also have other ones intellectual property in it and you need to be clear about what is your intellectual property and what it's from someone else those things you need to take care of it and put it in the agreement that's something you need to keep your mind on the thing is most people they create a software or they create an application and sometimes people be like i'm gonna give it an um created an open source and open source means they give you the license to use it and you can use it however you want there's nothing wrong with that. It's just you give people license to use the software. But if you really want to protect your software, the source code, and you want, you need an agreement to sell it to someone else, you want to sell it to someone else, then it's better to have this agreement. For example, let's say you create an app or let's say you create a software in Windows and it can benefit the company. You can give it to the company, you can sell it to the company, and then you need the agreement to sell that. So in the agreement, you can put a price, you can pay it, what are you going to deliver, what exactly, and what's the source code, and um, how are you gonna deliver it. So all those things you can put in a contract. That's something you need to keep in mind. The thing is, um, it's just you selling a software, and the software can be digital, and the things that you are giving someone, it can be digital. Keep in mind, when you create something, it has value. It doesn't have value for you right now, but it can have value for someone else. If you have question about this, what you can do is just join the Discord and on the Discord you can ask me question about it directly. If you're new to this channel and you like this kind of video, seriously subscribe. You see the subscribe button? Press it, subscribe. And if you feel generous and you want to support us, feel free to press the donation button, press it and donate one or two dollars. I hope you guys liked this episode and I will see you in the next one. Bye.